Adventurers, and welcome to Roll for Bluff, our talk show where we discuss the ongoing events of our Bards and Nobles campaign. I'm your host, Sam. I play Calmine, the Tiefling Rogue Warlock. To my right, we have Zeke, who plays Leon, our El- Eldrin Elf Rogue. Wow. To my left, we have Tristan, who plays Sorn, our Goliath Barbarian. And to my far left, we have Brandon, who plays everybody else and is our DM. And they'll be joining me today as my co-host, as well as my dapper gentleman, in today's episode. Oh, yes. mm, quite. Mm, <laughs> and tonight's episode no. is called Secrets in Selbin. That being said, we started tonight's journey in the city of Selbin after oh. being transported there by the wizard who works for the White Talon. And when we arrived there, we immediately spotted somebody that... You recognized. Uh-huh. He recognized, recognized you. Yeah. Like that. You so. want to talk about that? <laughs> that was pretty cool. You want to uh, oh, explain snap. yourself <laughs> Funny a Funny story. It's pretty, it's pretty sticks out when you um, So <laughs> Leon's family was killed by an assassin. Um, so apparently, or not apparently, the person who put the hit out on my family was the one that happened to be walking down the alley at the same time that we came in. Did so, you have to roll percentile for that? So, yeah. You did? Mm-hmm. So Leon instantly became enraged and chased after him, as he also noticed it was Leon, and he was scared of him. Mistake like number be. one. <laughs> Chasing after the man. I don't, okay, I don't think it's a mistake to chase after your parents' killer, but hey, let us know. Yeah, let us know what you think. Would you chase after your parents' killer in a crowded city like that? I mean, when you, like, where, you're mention, where you have low. the skills to get rid of him. Yeah, in a city uh, that you've pissed people off. Yes, but he's like the low. root cause of all my problems. I mean, you're not wrong. Exactly. <laughs> if he didn't put the head on my family, I'd be chilling, like, with good money. And then you never would have joined the Stormbreakers. Yeah, I would be safe, and i have to be fighting, like, every day. What are you talking about? No, no, you no. Guys. If you never joined us, you would be dead, because you would have tried to take out Devin. No. No, I wouldn't have... My family wouldn't have been killed. I would have just stayed in the, no. my area. Anyway. anyway exactly. Leon wouldn't it's exist. complicated. So he's the root cause. <laughs> So, yeah, you chased after, and then he, you know, was running along, getting in the distance, I and Sorum was just like, too. well, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're doing this for, but here we go. Um, and then all you said, like, get him. I was like, get like, him, him he put a hit on my family. And that's all Sorum needed to be like, well, all right. Say yeah. what? <laughs> Yeah, because remember, he flew off at that time. I was like, yep, right. Dang, dang, dang over. Mistake number two. <laughs> To be fair, it wasn't your mistake this time. It was Sorns, who listened. Second time, second time in a city where everyone needed to lay low. You, a Goliath, took off into the airs (laughs) and leaping around. I mean, (laughs) subtlety is not their strong suit. To be fair, the fact that he saw me in the first place and saw us walk out of a portal, I don't think we could have laid low in the first place. We could have laid low for like the first maybe couple hours. He will report that, regardless. Yes, but inversely. We would have maybe a few hours. Wouldn't everyone in the city wouldn't have known. <laughs> yep. You accelerated it from a few hours for you guys to be able to lay low and, you know, go off radar or do anything. To now everyone knows. <laughs> so, out. a chase happened. And out. Cal and Liren were like, well... Let's just mosey along while we can for a bit. <laughs> well, Cal disguised herself because Cal didn't want to be recognized in this city. For reasons we'll get for into. For reasons. I wonder why. For reasons. <laughs> She's so, a rogue assassin. So you <laughs> oh, really? you changed how you looked, and then uh, Liren shaped water and made it so she had like some ice hair, which changed her head shape a bit. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Though. Yeah, it's like a cool effect. Yeah. So you guys, you know, mosey along, uh, you pass by somebody on the corner yelling about, repent the evils of nature. I never cared about that guy. You guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tristan, you're just like, I need to go back and see him. Yep. That was after. Um, yeah, not so you, that. you continued along. Eventually, you saw Soren leap up into the sky. And you were like, well, looks like we're running. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you cooked down a back, uh, you know, went down a back alley. You just fell down at the wrong spot. Yeah, I rolled so a nat one on my funny. athletics, and I just fell in the mud right in front of somebody that was like, "Hey, there's people running, and a guy jumping in the sky." I should probably check in on this. Someone <laughs> fell, and then Liren's like, "Let me wash the mud off of you." Oh wait, wait a minute, you're in disguise. Oh well. <laughs> yep. 
So everyone did something just a little off. Laying low was not happening. Yeah. No. Like, no. Um, I mean, which was, it worked. this was the, the, the plan I had, I was like, oh, they're going to do this. They're not going to be silly. They're not going to be. <laughs> <laughs> you took that just off that bridge onto a moving train, and that train was going directly into hell. See, when I say we'll burn that bridge when we get there, we You're literally burn the bridge yeah. when we get there. So he it, you know, he investigated you guys, and you were like, yeah. Um, My name's Sophie. That's My Sophie. name's Laura. <laughs> that's, I'm Laura, and that's Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> Show us around town. And threw some more cunning lies, and him, he believed your names he didn't believe why you were there <laughs> that's fair but he probably was like fair enough <laughs> that's yeah. why i went with sort of a happy dumb person so he um a good idea you know he was like we guys said oh the docks <laughs> well let's we go we want to see ships crashing i thought that was hilarious he said ships crashing i thought that was just so funny and i just went with it <laughs> Yeah, he was. He was. I was trying to like a lead to see if you guys would be like shift crashing what, and he'd be like, "Aha, <laughs> it's really weird to go in there." I um, agree. Oh, I go so <laughs> you continued on, and you know had a nice conversation with um, you know. Uh, he was. You guys were all suspicious of each other. It wasn't like a yeah, we're fine. This is fine. We're fine. Let's go. We're fine. We're friends. <laughs> so you can you know that was your your way out there. Switch back over to you guys. He was firing, um, a, you know, a hand crossbow at you guys. <laughs> I want it. You want it, I think. <laughs> I don't need it, though. I wouldn't use it, honestly. No, but, yeah. That's more yeah, of a cowboy. He was doing more shooting at you guys. A hand crossbow that uh, we didn't have to see him re- reload? Reload or Just any ammo. After it hits you. Any ammo. <laughs> it was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Cat would totally use that. <laughs> yeah. Too bad, uh, you don't have it. No. So, yes. catch him. Eventually, you alerted the, the group. Well, they, you found out. You were trying to alert them of, you know, oh, people are following you guys. <laughs> um, eventually, he Hi. took off, and you noticed when you climbed up. I was so happy that I made that. Though. Right, Nat like, 20 go, whoop, whoop, whoop. I was like, wall jump, wall jump. So, you noticed that the um, black skeletons. Yeah, we're the big guys. We're like the bigger people. The of gang the black of skeleton. the of the city. Just said a dude with like a large club and then a guy with a large crossbow. I was like, what? Walking no, along. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> Not touching that. No. Yeah. <laughs> you noticed that they were following Sorn. I'm like, ah, Sorn, hi. Sorn, cut it. <laughs> but I can get him. <laughs> like, yeah, much more power. Sorn's like, like, I can catch him. It's not that far, guys. Come in, come in here a little bit. So yeah, you uh, you Pop you pulled stick. off. You hid. I think I did pretty good on that one. I was like, dip. He jumped off into the distance and was like, I'm out of here. And uh, you went, ha ha! It's like, fine! Was a good cut, though. Yeah, it was, it was a good cut. I mean, they, you still jumped over buildings. <laughs> they are still able to see you do that. <laughs> yeah, but it was a smart choice what you did after when you chose to slide down the um Right, because they, they didn't see me leap a second time. Yeah, so they're yeah. like, wait. <laughs> well, yeah, one guy was like, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. That, was, that was smart. So yeah. they took a moment of pause, um, gave you just enough time mm-hmm. to go into a, a store. <laughs> yeah, hello! <laughs> hello. <laughs> Where you met a Kalashtar in his apothecary slash herbal remedies. Mm-hmm. And you tried herbal to lie. Remedies. You tried to lie. <laughs> but you, 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 you almost did it, but his insight was whoop. Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally here just to explore. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I'm new to town and don't know what the stories are. I love plants. <laughs> yeah, plants. I didn't go that far. I didn't I want to try <laughs> that hard. That would have been hilarious. And he was like, new to town, you picked my store of all places? I don't know what <laughs> So you rolled. You did fairly well yeah. in perception, but he did better. So he was like, uh-huh. And it has nothing to do with... The guy, the guy who came around the corner because they, they that's what gave you enough time. He was like, they caught up and they're like, okay, he didn't jump, so he has to go somewhere. So they split. Mm-hmm. They didn't see which way you went. They knew you went down and somewhere. So one turned to where you were, the other one turned the other way. Mm-hmm. And you were like, uh. <laughs> I've never seen that man before in my life, which I hadn't. 
I don't know who he is. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a lot. No, he was, was like, like, oh no. He was like, I'm not dealing with this, even if he isn't for you. Hide. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't, my plants don't need this kind of energy. <laughs> right, I don't. This whole negative sphere here. <laughs> it's harsh in my mellow, y'all. So you 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 went behind a curtain. And you went and it was pretty much like a uh a, those wall. A, kind Not of it. like a homemade like little like curtain storage area where mm-hmm. it's like just a section off the room. Yeah. And it was just floor to ceiling, which you were like. <laughs> right here now. I'm not here. <laughs> you don't see me. <laughs> Who knows? See you, so The guy came in. Grinder was like, What do you want? Like, no one's here. What are you talking about? <laughs> and he was like, Well, all right, I guess. Can I have I, some sweet curries? <laughs> and he was like, Yeah, for you, whatever. Take it and leave. <laughs> I was like, Thanks, my grandma needs it. <laughs> she got arthritis. <laughs> <And> glaucoma. <laughs> so, yeah, they uh, he left with the sweet grass. A few minutes came by. He was like, Just don't come out yet. And you waited and waited and waited. <laughs> and right when you came out, Leon Leon finally was like, because you were like, I'm in this place. Because Soren called out to everyone yeah. and let them know the name of the place. Mm. The as crux as, of the matter. As soon as you came out, he was like, why are you here? Like, Or no. He, he was like, now why are you really a here? Friend. And I was like, I was chasing a dude for a friend. Uh, Who's like, that? Hi. I was like, ah, uh, it's me. <laughs> and John was like, He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> You, it couldn't possibly be this idiot, right? He's not that dumb. Internally, he's like, he's not that dumb. He's not that. <sighs> he's that dumb. <laughs> it's that. <laughs> it's that one. So yeah, idiot. you you learned. Well, you already knew, but you learned that, you know, Dronder had worked with you in the past. Yeah. And uh, he was kind of, you know, how you got to Selbin and this continent. Yeah. He was like, okay, so who are you chasing? I was like, ah, uh, Cameron. And that's when Joiner was like, he was trying. He, uh, yeah. boy, coming into cell and doing dumbass <laughs> shit like this. <laughs> well, considering Leon didn't know anything, he didn't. He knew like who the Black Skeleton were, which Cameron's a part of, and apparently my master's a part of. But he didn't know that. He never knew that. So yeah, and he wants to kill his parents' killer, of course. Yeah, yeah. And he explained that. Mm-hmm. Everyone got on his case. <laughs> That happened. Yeah, it happened. You haven't gotten your case, so you, all, it'd be all like that act sometimes. Like I knew this information beforehand. So you waited and talked it out, and he was like, "Okay, go in this back room." He opens up a secret back room. Yeah. You guys go back there a few minutes after you you, you, you direct, give directions yeah. to Lear and Cal, and they're like, "Do do do." You on the docks after you got there, he was like, "Okay." Did you know the guy jumping around and your deception is finally paying off? Yes. Finally, with that plus 12. <laughs> guy jumping around? What are you talking about? I was like, I had no idea what you mean. Ooh. Uh, you... What's a jump? <laughs> I never What's used... a guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're so dumb. <laughs> that's basically is that what he was well. thinking? Oh, yeah. Because that's what I wanted him to oh, think. He, was, he thought that you guys good. were that's just good. real dumb. Good. Perfect. So you, you left and you would, like, eventually you saw a single dingy just in the water going like whoosh. And that's when I played up the, oh, look, the ship's yeah. crashing, yay! That was perfect. <laughs> he was like, whatever, I can't believe I wasted time doing this. <laughs> I followed the wrong lead. So now he'll know if he sees us again. Don't waste your time following us. We're not up to anything suspicious. We're just real dumb. Yep, you can sure hope that happens. Yep. Um, <laughs> I'm keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> so while you were leaving... I saw somebody familiar, somebody from my past uh, in Selden. Mr. Jigalot. Uh, Hakar, who is a Loxanon, sort of like merchant, Mr. Businessman um, of the area. Somebody that I had uh, stolen from last <laughs> oh, time. Oh, go figure. You worked for and then stole from. I worked from. for and then stole from. Um, Couldn't see that coming. Which, which uh, was kind of like bad how. because he had been sort of like a trusted, somebody that I could trust in the city. Um, how could she? But I really needed to get out of the city. For reasons. For reasons. <laughs> Demons. For reasons, gambling debts. <laughs> Massive gambling debts. Massive debt. gambling debts. Oh, I remember that. Um, so we sort of uh, s- tried to go past him as quietly as we could. And you did. Succeeded. Did, or at least I believe Don't we notice did. me. Don't notice me. Um, we, Pain of mine. We made our way to the... What was the name of the store again? The Crux, Crux of the, the Matter. Crux of the Matter. Um, and I walked in... <laughs> And we're like, hi, I'm Laura, how are you? And he was like, what And I was like, I'm looking want? for my friend. Leon. 
And then he was like, oh, okay, don't, don't go back. Yeah. And you're like, oh, good, and you dropped it. He yeah. was like, ah, God. And then he was like, wait a minute. <laughs> and he went, I know who you yeah, are. Yeah, what'd you do and what'd you think? What was Cal thinking when he went? I was probably like, I don't know this guy, but he obviously knows me. <laughs> 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 So you went, you know, back into the back room. Yeah. And he was like, okay, I'm going to just, and he cl- like, he used his magic to close the store. And he was like, what happened? <laughs> Everyone needs to start spilling the beans right now. Yeah. So go ahead, you three. Three. Yeah. So <laughs> I think you started, I think you and I started off sort of like, well, no, I, I started off like explaining why I was chasing someone. Right. Then everyone got mad I was chasing my parents' killer. Soren was not Except mad for Soren. at anyone. Soren was understanding. I wasn't not understanding. Cal was just like, you big dumb. But You're in Selvin. Time and place, man. It's really the explosive <laughs> rage of the fact that he got to see who it was. Oh, don't get me wrong. Yeah. So I was Cal like, understands. That's just how Leon works. Cal was. just yeah. is also... Like, you big dumb. I mean, Leon's still Cal You made dumb. Cal mistake. You made Cal, Cal no, level you mistake. You made Cal so mistake. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, so, yeah, after that, we were just arguing about it, like, yeah. for a while. And then... And then somehow... Toronto was like, so, yeah, what are you doing back here? Again. I was like, like hold I'm up. just here. Again. Passing through. <laughs> uh uh-huh. my before. own best. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then what came out? Uh, it came out that I um, <laughs> was known as the Bleeding Heart, which, for those in Selvin know the Bleeding Heart as the worst, the fighter. worst fighter in the fighting ring. It was like 0 and 13. 0 right? and 13 was my record. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's, yeah, you're that guy. <laughs> and uh, and Leon had known who the Bleeding Heart was. <laughs> You were just like, mmm, that's weird. Now, a, a little bit of story there. So so Cal was broke and <laughs> yes, uh, yes. and homeless. Wow. And so she she uh, tried to make some money in the fighting rings and never won. <laughs> a single never time. Won Not once. Oh, nope. Because frail Cal... <laughs> It Cal won't. is not Can't Cal punch. is not a, a punchy punch. Cal is more like I'm gonna stab you with a dagger or the fight, behind you in the, the fight dark. Lasted behind a you while. in the dark. Yeah, because so no could one could really hit. hit you. No, no, <laughs> right. she couldn't oh. take a hit. They couldn't land a punch. But as soon as they did, it was like <laughs> right, right. Paper <laughs> tissue. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. It was literally just a game of cat and mouse until they caught you, and then there was like, well, that's it. <laughs> yeah, and you died. That's when it was all over. <laughs> so, that yeah. was so funny. Which like, everyone was like, "I was laughing at that." <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. That was hilarious. And that's when you found out that uh, certain people are would not like to see you because you still yep. owe money. Yep. And that you broke a car's heart. Apparently, Aww. poor thing. Womp womp. He probably looked at you. That's why Cal has never, never dated again. What? No. <laughs> what is it with you? Okay. That's what I said. He probably looks at her as like the We'll get into that later. Her. So, yeah, you, uh, then, you know, argued a bit more. Yeah. And then, uh, Drondo stepped away and was like, wait a minute. Because he was like, Goliath, Ganassi, Tiefling. Uh, <laughs> You're the Stormbreakers. <laughs> and everyone was like, he's like, that you. Hold on a second. I wasn't even surprised. How do you guys know this? I was not surprised. <laughs> You're noticeable people. You know, yeah, you have a warning? <laughs> oh, anyone... look, we're on a poster. <laughs> we're most... a... What are we, a parental advisory stick? <laughs> most you guys are most people are allowed into Selvin because of just how Selvin is. Right. Certain people aren't allowed in if they're going to like the Royal Guards aren't allowed in, people who are gonna uh, rival gangs to the black skeletons. We're not allowed in. <laughs> People who are going to try and undermine them. Yeah, you guys are allowed in because they, right now, you guys have never done anything to be against the Black Skeletons. They have no reason to. Well, not once you win, you're just on high alert because you guys have been known to uh, stop things like that. But not them. They're not. Yeah, like they believe that you guys aren't that dumb, but they are. You are on watch. Well, little of the day, no, we are. Yep. Oh, that's (laughs) changing. Yeah, we're Uh, we're big dumbs. uh, 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 Yeah, things are going to change in seven years in. Yeah. Oh. So anyway, <laughs> you guys eventually he Andra tried to you know light up some incense this weekend. My rules for, for like Cal the one time I don't want my rules to be good. They were really good. Cal was like, oh, okay, we have. Yeah, She's good. like, I'm high. 
die. Yeah, my con is like my strongest save. Yep. Mine um, is the worst. And I rolled a natural 20. It's like the one time I don't bing. need it. Mine's so, a plus five and I only rolled a four. So. I think it's a plus one yeah. or two. So yeah, you guys, you know, did okay. You know, figuring things out. And you, he was like, okay, you guys need to leave now. Like, I can't have Cal bought party. some sweet grass. Uh, <laughs> she bought three that. Uh, he was like, in. you made a deal though, Leon. Like, yes. Yes. Four, you him for to like cover you and let not let people know that you're there and not you know for him not to implicate you be in there. Mm-hmm. In two nights, you have to sneak some refugees and Yay. to help, or oh, or you don't do it, you just never come back. <laughs> Which I probably won't man, ever Soren, come back I don't feel anyways. like that's a very Soren thing to say because uh, the whole downtrodden and refugees. <laughs> Kind of seem right up. No, no, I'm just saying what the deal was. That was what the deal was. Was yeah. either help a, out or leave and never I know, return. but let's be realistic here. We're going to help. Yeah, we're definitely going to help. We're going to help. That's going to be like, yep, we're open. Yeah. <laughs> Can't let little kids not go. So, Can't let kids. Oh, wait, so wait, we forgot, to, we forgot children. to mention that also. Um, so the leader of the Black Skulls doesn't really want, he doesn't like me. Nope. No because I killed you. his top assassin. Yep. Yeah. Which so was your mentor. So, and we're in the town of the Black Skeletons. So, uh, You're literally in the hotbed of their gang activity. Yep. It's okay. They don't know. They don't need to know. They don't need to know. You're right, let's retcon the entire episode. He said it. <laughs> they don't need to know. They don't need to know. We were never episode <laughs> over. They were never there. They we never know. went to Selvin. Okay, now back I'm to now reality. Invisible. <laughs> there goes gravity. So you guys left, and you were like, we need to hide. <laughs> yeah, so Cal remembered while we were there that um, we we needed to give, uh, check up on Sprout yeah. and give something to him. Um, and so that was kind of number one on Cal's list, was like, let's find Sprout. Um, so she remembered the name of the yawning pen, the place where they were supposed to mm. talk to somebody, and, you know, so we managed to, on our way there, we actually passed, um, a group of the, well, first we stopped in the, at the, uh, shop. shop. No, the, we, I thought they passed us first, and then they passed. Oh, okay, yeah. so we, so we passed a group, um, <laughs> no, of the Black Skull, no. and, um, the oh, leader yeah. of the Black Skull. Everyone disguised themselves as well. Yes, we disguised <laughs> themselves. A hobgoblin leader who was, uh, he's hes more, you know, skin and bones, very, like, gaunt, thin, like, he looks evil. <laughs> Easy way to put that. Uh, point of back hair, goatee and everything. Money. Walking past people were giving him money. He was just walking past, he was like, mm-hmm, uh-huh, yep. Money. Money. And you, you guys like don't notice, don't notice. And he, oh, he saw you guys, and he made note of that there was you guys were walking around. But were we just like random travelers? So that happened, that happened before. after. Because you had your mask on, yeah. you looked differently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you guys were, they were, uh, you know, you were noted. You guys like, oh, travelers in here, interesting group, very large, eclectic group, but whatever. You know, yeah, no problems. They, for, yeah. they, they assumed like, oh, they had to have paid their their tithe to get in. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally did. Um, 100%. So... Is there a way to teleport back out? <laughs> nope. So you guys... Before that, you guys went into uh, a shop. You were walking past. You're like, oh, cool. I want to see what's in here. Like, you know, what's going on? Uh, and you guys walk into a store called the Dapper, Dapper Gentleman. Gentleman. I forgot about that almost. And so while you were there, you got to meet... Maxi. Maxi. Oh, don't you look gorgeous? Aren't you just the cutest? A uh, green-skinned tiefling with tiny horns and darker hair and walking around in very comfy clothes. Just the sweetest. For now. So, yeah, you bought... It's actually a changeling. Um, you oh, bought, so I bought a kitsune mask. You want to explain what that is? So that's uh, basically a Japanese fox spirit. Uh, I don't know how to best describe it, but... I don't know how you to best describe the mask-wise. Mask well, yeah, yeah you fox bought a fox, fox mask. You, I got a grumpy face mask. <laughs> Fits you. <laughs> Laren um, bought a veil that matches the colors of her armor. That, that her eyes are visible, but the rest of her face isn't. Eye holes. And Cal has disguise self, so she's fine. For the most part. So Cal is currently walking around as Laura, a, a blue, blue skin, blonde haired tiefling. Oh my god! Um, so you continued on. You know, you pass past the leader, and then you guys are like, uh, uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> We're just don't masked. Don't we don't, don't notice me. Don't yeah, you're lucky he doesn't have true sight. Yeah. Oh, oh weird. <laughs> that tiefling's not that tiefling. Boys. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, this is not going to plan yeah, at all. That SpongeBob meme. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys walk, you, you make to the awning pin. Yeah. You go in. You did the cat. You did the phrase. Yep. Do you I have that written? I took good boss. notes. You wrote. I was like, you had to written that down. <laughs> yes, oh, I notes. did. <laughs> I'm looking for paper to grow with. And you're like, he was like, got it. All right, let's go back here. Yeah. I need to show you the the weatherproof section. Yeah. You guys back there. He's like, all right. So what's up, guys? I'm like, yeah, I need to uh, talk to Sprout. We have a letter for him. And then he was like, okay, you can go give it to him yourself. He's actually yeah. here. And you guys are like, oh. That's and easy. that took over your entire brain. Um, yeah, I, uh, yeah. It should be mentioned that I completely forgot to give the letter to Sprout. And you didn't give it to him this entire rest of this? Nope. Just continued along. How great for you. <laughs> you just real still nice. have it. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be real awful if it's bad news. Your parents are dead. There you go. <laughs> You're kicked out of the post. Oh. Oh. Um, and your parents are dead. What is going on? So you so go back. There's this large stone chest. Um, he pulls out some different keys. He unlocks it with a certain key. You hear As he opens it, you see a ladder that goes down. And we went down the ladder. Yeah. Their hideouts are so cool. That scared the crap. That's their whole thing. <laughs> I'm just saying their hideouts in general. So we go cool. down and we enter into this sort of like little underground home area and we see Sprout's half brother. I scared the crap out of You went. And you're like, boo. And he's like, oh my god. <laughs> it wasn't like I was like, booga booga. It was, it was boo. Yeah, he's still not expecting people. <laughs> I'm just saying. Could have been I thought he would have heard us, though, coming down. He was, he was <sighs> very... And that's what I thought it was. Work. Like Maybe he was very focused. So. He is He is pretty much running the, the postman operation in Selvin right now. Yeah. That must suck. And dealing with his brother. Yeah, that must suck. So, um, you know, we went in, talked to him for a quick minute, um, and then... How nervous were you guys to see Sprout again? Very Cal nice. looks extremely nervous. Yeah. This is it my fault? <laughs> yeah, basically. See, but that's why I was like, Waymon feels it's his fault, too, though. I mean, you're not the one that stabbed him. We all feel it's our fault. You stabbed him? Yes. When she was possessed. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I also feel like it's my fault because I couldn't heal him enough. I couldn't do yeah, more Yeah, I mean, you guys are all, all like, oh, my God. Yeah. We didn't take care of the small <laughs> <Exactly>. child. <right? laughs> we all have, like, parent guilt. <laughs> Basically. Well, he's the first one. Next small child, you do better. <laughs> well, you're you're the, he you just won't them, come with us. You make the mistakes of the first small child and the second small child you parent from it. I mean, that's Only how it was one my that doesn't work. <laughs> we'll well, get there eventually. Eventually, the whole body that's will That's where my doctor uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, you... Uh, you, he, you was like, okay, let him know, like, knock, knock. You guys are visiting. He's like, you see him, like, trying to do exercises to get his legs to work. And you walk in, you see his legs are attached on the outside with clockwork. Hmm. You know, they're kind of like... Polio braces. Yeah. But they, they, they help him move a little more. They actually, like, gears click in and move yeah. naturally because they're attached to the muscle tendons that he has. So it's more sensory. Right. It's like springs and... Yeah, so it's more sensory whenever, like, the impulse happens, it's able to move. Yeah. yeah. It just takes a lot of work. It's like a crude version of imagine, modern... Especially uh, since he said he just started, like, a week ago. Yep. ago started walking. So yep, because like, it took a while for them to build it, size yeah. it, get it in, do the whole surgery, do everything like that. Right. Yeah. I imagine would... how painful that was. Mm-hmm. I'll let you know. Very. Probably because I imagine it's like a crude steampunk version of like modern day uh, mm-hmm. uh, assisted prosthetics. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, prosthetics where like, it feels all sense like a muscle twitch here, and then all the, the yep. hands does this. Pretty much, and it Technology. is screwed into his legs. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he was just <laughs> like, oh rotten my bones. God. Oh my god! And yeah. he just freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> he was just elated to see you guys. He knew you guys were alive. He just. No one told him what condition worried, you yeah. guys were in. He didn't know if you guys were going to be able to make it to Selbin. Yeah. And so he was so thankful you guys made it. So he's just like, oh my god, my best friends, my only friends. <laughs> Poor kid. So yeah. Poor yeah. kid. And you guys, you know, talked to him. There was a lot of awkward silence. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were all like, I think it was say. hard because, like, seeing, I think, you know, at least, I, I mean, I'm for, sure it was the same thing. Like, seeing, seeing him like that him. was, like, bringing all that guilt back up, I think. Yeah. Well, like, and, and, and at the same time, we're all still pretty um, all emotionally worn out just from the last, you know, the whole big arc. Because it's only been, like, went, two days. Yeah, it's yeah. only been a few days. Yeah. And, like, we're still, you know, Soren's still technically mourning over his father and anyone else who died in that battle. And it, like it's, everything's still very fresh, so it's still like it's like oh yeah, and, yeah, and here's God. Sprout, and this cool. guy, mm. yeah. Mm. So yeah, he was like he, I mean, he could tell he was like okay, I'm just gonna try and like get conversation, like 
It's okay, guys. We can talk. Ha 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 ha. Is that a joke about my legs? Ha ha. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Ewan was like, "Oh God, now there's just gonna be a bunch of puns." Right. <laughs> <laughs> I um, even mean to make that pun, honestly. That was funny though. It just happened. So yeah, you guys talked to um, um, you pulled Ewan aside, and right when that happened, he was like, "I can't make you an actual unicorn, but I can try." <laughs> so he just gave me made you a horse. horse. That was awesome. Well, the that horse. was so awesome. That was pretty cool though. Horse with a horn. That was a. As basic of a unicorn as you could be. By, by, wait, by definition. The reason I justified that is that, let's say, through some weird, you know, breeding of horses and like things like that in a, you know, fantasy universe, a, a horse with a horn that's not innately magical can exist. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's, I mean, even in modern day, you got horses with an extra leg growing out of its face. Things like that. Yeah. yeah. Just put yeah. a party cone on it. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, that's horrifying. And Thorne yeah, then so, proceeded to. Prance around. around the room and check himself out. <laughs> like, the what's going on? And you guys saw, and Cal was like, no. Nope. is amazing. <laughs> so while he was being turned into the Sornicorn, um, Cal was talking to you and was like, so how's he really doing? Like, what's the situation with his legs? Like, what are the, you know, what's going on? Who made this prosthetics? Um, kind of found out that his bones were, like, necrotic and the muscle tissue wasn't connected and that... Zulto had been the one to build the prosthetic uh, for him. Um, <laughs> right. Um, so, and then, you know, came back to see the Sornicorn and was like... Clip, 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 Ewan, was, Ewan was like, guys, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, underground, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> it's not normal to hear horses <laughs> underground. <laughs> so then, I was like, sorry. Poof. Clip, clap, boom, boom. That was ah, funny. My legs are normal. <laughs> that yeah, was you're funny. running on all fours. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And Soren thought, thought it was hilarious. Soren has met a unicorn and become a unicorn. <laughs> His <laughs> dreams are now fulfilled. I have lived. There is nowhere else. You can't go any higher. <laughs> Until you become an actual unicorn. God, that's when you die. Terrible. <laughs> you bet. Or that, that ride be... a mighty unicorn into battle. That would be amazing. He becomes a Valkyrie. <laughs> it's like riding a Pegasus, but it's like a unicorn Pegasus. <laughs> that would that'd be so a big amazing. one yeah. uh, for you. That's um, like level 20. So, yeah, you, I mean, you learn from you and that he can't wild shape anymore. Right. Like his legs, like it, his, his clockwork can't phase with it. That's the thing, like they can't magically do because it would it, they would work because how that's at work. Even though he's changing his bone structure, they're limiting that because they can't work like that. Yeah. Um. So afterwards, uh, you know, we were still talking. You and offered to make food, which we're like, we like food. Yeah. Yeah. The I was like, you guys can stay here, and you guys were like, oh, thank God. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. So we don't have to worry about sleeping up there. Right. Um. So, you know, we all sort of sat around and talked and ate food. Um, and then another revelation happened. I wonder who could possibly help us. Well, before, before that, that, you were before like, that. what was your master's name? Oh, well, gosh. This. Yeah, so I had asked Leon after thinking about it, like, who is your master? Because you said that he had worked for the Black Skulls. And you said, oh, and my master's name was the... Archibald or the Seasons, yeah, always forget and I was like, "Oh, yes, for his nickname, the Seasons." That's familiar. So, what was your nickname if you if you worked for this group? The Seasons. The Seasons Shadow, which Cal knew because Cal knew at one point in time the person that she owed her gambling debts to had offered a contract to the Seasons Shadow to put a hit. And on you're her. the reason why she left town. Oh, yeah. I wasn't sure about that. Yep. Yeah. Because I saw her like. Basically, too. I was like, why do you want to know? Which, yep. she's like, which, the reason why no she reason. <laughs> I, I'm going to be quite honest. Cal is not afraid of you, but it's, it's like I said, it's very weird, like, knowing that, like, you almost, a you, you, you could have, you could have ended my life. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. at that point, you were a rogue. She was not. Yeah. I was, oh. I was a broke fighter. I she was, was a, I would have, she was like, a bum. I would have actually killed her if I had her. I was, like, sleeping on the streets. And uh, I like, thought she was yeah. already a rogue. No, she was time. learning. You were our, you were more. Like, See, you, like, I was already you, trained. You were learned by training. I was learning by living on the streets. Street um, smarts. So yeah, I would have actually killed you. Then. Yep. Yeah. You would have had a good chance. Okay, to do it. I, I get that. Then. So it's really uh, weird to be like, I was uh-huh, trying to like fight together and like we die together, but you I know that's what I was trying to like break point. that. I said like, okay, if I was going to even try to kill you, I would have tried already, especially. Humbleton, when we first met, I was like, but it's it was okay. still kind of weird. So Cal went and sat and ate soup in a corner. <laughs> and then you guys were all like, yeah, and 
And Sprout was like, you guys are weird. It's not You're even a big weird. room. She's just like across the room. Yeah, I'm just yeah, like. Yeah. In the like, smallest room, you guys are just like. Mm, so I was just like. Ooh, I'm really just trying to get <laughs> past the whole situation. <laughs> yeah. So then you were like, wait. Cal had a thought. And that thought was, I wonder if, you know, my demon warlock patron could potentially help Sprout. I mean, they've been pretty helpful so, so far. So remember that railroad that they like, they jumped on the train going into hell? <laughs> this is when that train just went off the rails. <laughs> teeter, Onto teeter, a teeter, different teeter, train. Teeter flip. <laughs> so, yeah, once again, burned that bridge when we crossed it. Um, <laughs> so Cal wrote to Azazel in her journal and was like, hey, what do you know about, you know, repairing missing bones or whatever? <laughs> I and need he, some known bones. He was like... Go on. <laughs> and so Cal sort of, you know, explained the, explain the situation. And Azazel was like, I mean, I can, but I can't do it for free. <laughs> and Cal was like, all right, what's this what going to cost me? And um, go ahead. And Azazel was like, I would like to possess somebody for 12 hours. And I was like, okay, like any anyone in particular? Like, not as long as they're not old, decrepit, or unhealthy. And Cal was like, I mean, I'm not old, decrepit, or unhealthy. Like, I can't be inside you. And he was like, your mom. that's weird. <laughs> your mother would get very mad at me. <laughs> so Cal Respectful. was like, okay, like like who? And he was like, like Sorn. You're so like, you're like Sorn or Leon? And he was like Sorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm offended. Yeah. He wants a body that like. I'm the most prime conditioned for no strong, offense to you. I am offended. Hardy. You'll find out. Why, I mean, you won't find out why, but you can understand why. Yeah. Is it the after Ultra leak thing? No, no, no. We'll get to it. So yeah, yeah okay, so you're so like, I'm so uh, let me ask. <laughs> so I sort of pulled Soren off to the side <laughs> to try to have this <laughs> little thing. private conversation and kind of explain to Soren like, hey, you know. Azazel says that he can help Sprout, but he needs to basically, like, possess you for 12 hours. Oh, do you need me to watch over you while he does that? <laughs> no. No, no, no possess, possess you. you. <laughs> no, no, it was like, oh, so you need me to hold down Leon? <laughs> no, n- no, Soren. I was like, why is always <laughs> everyone And honestly, I, I was kind of surprised. Yeah, you surprised everyone. <laughs> I, I it, thought maybe. I maybe, wasn't. I wasn't for someone who was like, demons are bad, you did exactly the opposite. You have bent your moral, like, you bent your code, kind of. Because you were like, no but, more deals with demons. I mean, to, no be more fair, for, to be fair, you I did, did something before. I did uh, pray to the gods. The gods were like, uh, it's your we don't know his intention. We guess it's for Sprout, <laughs> and that's what I, I mean. Saying. I wouldn't you say can make really this decision on your own. And so You're a big boy. See, and I would. That's why I wouldn't say bent his moral code because it's I mean, for it's friend. right. No, but you're, you're still you're, dealing with demons. You're, de- you're not going like doing that. You're more like. like yeah. You're you're still shifting. Wait, does this make him slightly more evil? Now? No, no, Dang. no. This is like when you're uh, playing a uh, fable and you it's accidentally like kill a citizen. And you're like, oh no! You, he's doing something for the greater good. It tur- it would make it more chaotic than evil yeah. because it's not. As far as you know, nothing evil's happening. So he'd right. be like chaotic good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there was there was. It's you a know, gray area. It's, he's oh, moving okay. from lawful to neutral. Get it? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So you know. Cal had told Soren, like, you know, Azazel says he just needs to talk to somebody and needs to be, like, topside to do it. Um, And she also said I would do what I could to make sure that he wasn't unsupervised. And Soren was like, ah, I guess. It's for Sprout. (laughs) So Cal was like, okay, uh, he says yes, but uh, I'm going to tag along because... He was like, that's fine. He's like, dope! <laughs> Means nothing to me. Okay. I get to do my stuff. <laughs> so, as Hazel told Cal, we'll just have him touch the book. Because that's his conduit. Boop. And the reason why he didn't want you is because he wasn't sure if your body could handle it. <laughs> because as soon as he touched the book, the, so the, the portal was open between your body and his demonic power. And he inhabited your body and then forced the change. So now he looks... In his in a human form, you know, watch the episode. I'm not going to describe it again. It was a really cool moment. Was so, it was pretty cool. <laughs> but he goes in a human an form, um, and he turned your body into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, he was like, "Hey, yeah, nice to meet you finally in person." Yeah. And Cow was like, "Oh, 
I didn't expect that. I thought just you were going to be in. <laughs> I was thinking Ghost no, Rider. No, he did mention that yeah, they wouldn't look like Sora. Yeah, but he didn't. you didn't think it would be like that. Yeah, I was that was No one better. expected a whole like, transformation. I actually thought that was pretty cool, like, yeah. just in general. Yeah, no worries. Um, <laughs> and then, so Khaled messaged the group like, hey guys, uh, we're going to be gone for a while. But, you know, at one point the group saw Azazel. I was like, yeah, because you were in the storm. You had to get the walk out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And everyone was still, like, chilling out in the main area. Yeah. So he walked out, and there was, like, A hey, is Azel, and Liam was like, what? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Sword? He's taking a walk. <laughs> like, what? Like, he's not dead. That? Like, he's <laughs> not dead. He's in here. <laughs> like, all right. That's, that's and unique. And Cal was like, I'll explain later. Liam was like, <laughs> okay, Liam was like he that. was like, reading the book, and I was like, yep, you know it. And he was like, Azazel, nice to meet you. And Liam was like, wait. Huh? <laughs> What? <laughs> I think you missed something here. We jumped to C. We didn't touch B at all. We didn't A to C. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and then he was like, we'll be back in 12 hours. See you guys later. <laughs> yep. And you went up. And you were he gave her a ring of the changing yep. thing. Yep. So that I could be 12. disguised as a human, which Cal was like, this is dope. A yeah, very particular human. Um, <laughs> strawberry blonde with freckles. Interesting. So, you Questions. got ready to leave. Yep, and that's where we ended the session, was with us walking out. Yeah, <laughs> and kind the of three of us. us. <laughs> the three of us left the building. Because the whole time Soren is conscious and sees everything, ah! it's like, you're talking about me! I don't know what you're mad I mean, about. you can't be mad at Cal, because she gave you that option. I don't know why he'd be yeah. mad at me. Uh, no, if anything like happens, you technically can blame us, Angel and yourself. <laughs> And Cal gave you all the information she could. That's valid. Hey, not your fault. Right? <laughs> it's something that actually isn't my fault. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not even a little. Nope. Not even in the party. It's not her fault. <laughs> <laughs> you said yes. You signed the line. Um, so, yeah. Do you have any questions? Any thoughts? Nothing. It took a What's Azazel going to do? Not telling you before you ask that question. He's going to go visit the I, I'm actually really excited to see what happens next. Like, I know that you, like had not expected things to turn out this way. I'm so excited, though. But I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, no. <when> you <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, too, that Leon only has, like, two choices. Well, really, three choices. Of a matter of, like, taking Archibald's place with yep. him. Or, uh... Going to Hakkar. Or going, yeah. well, going, going to Hakkar and trying to, like, make deals and, like, stuff like that. Or just staying hidden the whole time he's there. Yeah. Which I don't think is going to work. go to the work. fighting club. Yeah. yeah, but going to Fine Club, you said yeah, I still not. have to go talk to... No, a car has nothing to do with it. Yeah. A car is a merchant. No, if I go to the Fine Club, I still have to talk to the leader of... Oh, you know, maybe a leader, but you can talk to somebody. Yeah. Pay off Okay, we'll talk about that, because I probably understood that wrong, then. So, yeah. Any, any, any thoughts from you, Sword? <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> I mean, this is next fun. session, you're just going to be like... We will definitely have you. I'll you can you'll still be there if you want to say anything to Cal. Like you'll have to talk to Azazel, but Azazel will tell her she's stupid. <laughs> what are we doing? So I want to know what we're doing. So what was this episode like for you? <laughs> <laughs> so first, I didn't think you were gonna chase after for that long. I didn't think you were gonna jump. I didn't think you were going to run, like, Pat. I thought you were going to do the same thing, like, just keep us posted or, like, let us know where you go. Because that's normally what you do. I had thought about doing that. Yeah. That's so everyone did something I didn't expect because as this is what's great about Dungeons & Dragons. And as a DM, I can plan for so much, but I can't plan for everything because I only have one brain. Um, what? You don't have two? Well, I had things planned in case you guys did it, and that's what happened. I didn't expect you to do it. So, yeah, you did all that. You know, now you... Definitely are known to be there. Yep. Not Stormbreakers what? are definitely in the building. No, we're not. Uh, yes. I think it's a Goliath a with tattoos. Uh, you know, you, I mean, you had your cloak on and everything. Still, you jumping. <laughs> see, that comes back. <laughs> <laughs> like you <laughs> your cloak is getting caught in that wind. <laughs> so you're just like, hello. <laughs> so on the <laughs> yeah, so I'm here with the Stormbreaker. That's the, the only, only thing, thing I didn't do. You didn't announce your presence, which was... Good for you, I guess, for a little bit. <laughs> well, I'd be like, Sora didn't even respond to when the guy is chasing him. And, Why are you chasing me? <laughs> the guy told me to. <laughs> yeah, because like, oh, you just if you would, I mean, the thing could have been different if you would have talked to him. 
Um, <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Please cease and desist. <laughs> I, have I don't think you. It's a Wait, okay, hold on. Arrest. Be honest. Would he have stopped? Depending. Depending on oh, what he said. On what yeah, Soren said? said. But he wouldn't stop if I asked. No. Him. I'm I chasing answer. you for a But he knows friend. that Soren's with me. <laughs> Yeah, and he still would. I mean, you. He would have time to. He would. You. He was the closest one. He had time on you. Mm. And sort of been like, I don't know what we're doing. We need to talk. Leon like seems to want to take you out, and he would have been like, Yeah, I understand that. I talk if you don't like. That totally couldn't have been a thing. If Leon doesn't try and kill me, I'll talk. Well, that was that was Soren. So <laughs> <laughs> he could have technically not wrong. It wasn't uh, I, I didn't make your choice on that. Soren was doing the thing. I just said cut him off. Raged. Mm-hmm. Everyone would have known he was Soren's under fist. Oh yeah. Everyone would be like, <laughs> <laughs> like there's a super Weird. saiyan flying around. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> What's that giant lightning ball flying? See, That's because Soren. initially I was even considering casting Eldritch Blast at him, but I was like. I don't know why we're chasing this guy. I have no reason to be like, why are we trying to chase this guy? I have yep. no reason to use so, See, I figured the second I said, uh, if he, I was like, Leon is looking for you, he would be like, screw you guys, no! That's what I thought. I mean, that's the thing. That's the difference between the character I have and what the PC and PC is going to do and what you guys think. Yeah. Perception versus reality. Yep. But... He is a businessman. <laughs> A rogue, and also a businessman. He'd understand. He knows why you're after him. He knows definitely why you're after him. Yeah. So yeah, that was. I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, you know, you guys going into see Maxi. That was just fun for me. Yeah. Yeah, Maxi's pad. I don't. That's where he lives, right? The, that's his pad. The dapper gentleman. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I don't trust Maxi for the record. You don't trust anyone. I honestly, I don't really trust him. All the teethlings that I've met so far have just not (laughs) been. That's a valid point. Yeah, it's a teethling. Okay, good. Um, So, you did that. I mean, you guys were very smart enough. You guys are smart enough to decide disguise kits on yourselves. Mm -hmm. So then you'd be like, okay, we're definitely not who we think we are. Like, we're going on. (laughs) Right. Um, Get You guys got masks, so when you guys go out Mm. as yourselves, you guys can change a little bit. You can change your cloak. You can, you don't need to change your cloak. You just look different. Um, so, yeah. Everything, I mean, that, but then the, the end. I mean, I expect you guys to give the whole thing with Sprout. That was another thing. I was like, I had that plan for that whole note. It's going to wait until after 12 hours. <laughs> and then, you know, you, go, I, I figure, oh, maybe he'll go, she'll go for his Azel eventually. And, like, he'll, you know, have some words of wisdom or depending on what you asked. Yeah. And then. He's just going to, like, in the end, watch. Everything's gonna happen is you'll be like, well, here's your gnome bones. <laughs> it's just like a handful of just yeah, because let it be known, random no one, bones. No one asks, when do you plan on healing him? How do you like, plan on healing you, him? Like, you just no don't take that. care of it. Cal is not. You're working progress. It's yeah, like, it's getting better. She asked I mean, questions. You let him choose this time by himself. You didn't force him to. Do I did. It. You so also I asked think. at least one question. I, I asked <laughs> more than one question this time. If so. we continue this pattern, about four four deals from now, you'll ask two questions. <laughs> That's, that. I mean, that's a goal. That's one day. That, that is, one day, yeah. Cal might actually fully think through a that's deal. That's doubling the amount of questions. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, you guys definitely did some things I didn't expect. I now have to do some serious prep for next session. <laughs> if you need help, let me know. <laughs> and I can know all the stories. Nope. Dang it. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't going to work. Yeah. I'm really looking Deception. forward to it. I think it'll be I think it'll be a good time. By night with Azazel. Yeah. That'd be good. My so, night uh, inside my head. Me and Lena are just going to be like back at the place like knocked out. Reading. <laughs> yeah, like we'll eating, stuff reading, reading, yeah. reading, reading, reading. But we will have to find out what happens tomorrow night. And we will see you guys tomorrow. But I did want to make note, if you guys are going to be watching on October 11th, which is going to be not this upcoming Friday, but next Friday, um, we are going to be doing a giveaway of some of our new merchandise on Redbubble. If you are not already following us on Twitch, Give us a follow, twitch.tv slash d-n-d-r-o-l-e-c-a-l-l. If you follow us by 12 a.m. on Friday the 11th, you will be entered to win some free merch. Huzzah. Free yeah. stuff. I mean, I really can't like, say no, more than that. Check out the merch, though. Cause, yeah, because yeah. some yes. of that merch is pretty nice. Thank you, Tristan, yes, for designing indeed. our logos, designing our artwork. It's, it's great. Obviously, Leon's is pretty the best. Leon's, <laughs> Leon's, Leon's is pretty what? good. We've got we've got some nice Leon stuff. What? We've got it's some nice best. cow stuff. So we're we're, we're constantly on putting some stuff I'm buying, out there. Like, everything. Just saying, I'm already broke. It helps support <laughs> us, which means a lot. And also, we made Twitch affiliate. So. Yeah, which is pretty Huzzah. cool. So if you want to, you know, if you follow the live streams, make sure to, if you want subscribe 
you know, that means a lot for us. It means we can grow more, reach more people, yeah. expand the community, you know, have, the, you know, a bunch of followers, a bunch of people watching. We just want to make what's good for you guys, and that helps us grow and yeah. be better. Yeah, they, mm -hmm. honestly, like, we love the fact that, you know, we have so much support in such a short amount of time. Like, we really appreciate it. And all that support is going to help us in the future put out better quality content and better content in general. So... Thank you guys so much. We couldn't have even gotten this far without you. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing how this grows. So Indeed. thanks. We will see you guys tomorrow night. And uh, I think that's it. Bye. Bye. Bye.